Committee of the Regions, when there is their initiatives as well, when uh, individual regions of the EU, not only of the Czech Republic, of the EU actually depict their partnership regions and, and, and uh, trying to establish the help and support for the future recovery based on this, let's say, subsidiary partnership. Because it doesn't have to be, it's a big scope, right, government to government or government to part of the Ukraine. But I believe even then partnerships within the cities with currently with the humanitarian help or cubicles to build, you know, the school where there is no school shattered by the by the Russian bombs. So, so th this is also like things that we'd like to achieve. So it doesn't have to be, you know, think uh, as you always said, uh, think globally, act locally. So at that particular level, you know, helping a region to region uh, is important. We recently sending with Jan Lipovsky, and it was requested by Minister Ova, but it's first time aid, aid first help, right? It was requested by the uh, uh, Ukrainian Ministry of uh, Regional Development as well. Um, the shelters for the people, the mobile houses, uh, you know, Polish Polish helped a lot because they've got them stored in the in the uh, uh, security storages for them purposes, so they can give it up. We need to purchase that. So it's like constant help these days with the ICT and stuff. But uh, the discussion and the renewal of Ukraine is a part of our. Uh, one priority, right, to try to resolve the war crisis, but then, you know, participate on rebuilding and recovering Ukraine, which means uh, a lot of people could get back home, but just last time I got an information that there were about six million people on a move within the Ukrainian territory, seven. like inside seven, inside inside refugees. So that means those people have got currently no place to, to get back. As you believe uh, these uh, efforts could be started before the war over, uh, it's hard to say because I'm following the. I'm following. It, 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 it did start it, you know. In particular, Medel, you are trying to build something that would persist, not like to put the mobile houses. Uh, uh, as, as I can read the situation, but I'm just the one who's you know reading it from you, so discussing with my Ukrainian partners. Uh, the situation is not stable, right? Uh, okay, we know we know some of them cities were already rescued. But the front can can change. But hopefully, with the support, especially in the military area, you know, there won't be some significant change in the path of the war. Or if there will be, I believe it's in favor of Ukraine, because of the modern armory that is currently coming in from US, right? As I believe. So uh, it should start, and it started. Is it granted it's going to be there because the war is getting to the close? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem like right now, right? We do economic sanctions, you know, we support Ukraine, but it's going to be probably longer term than we expected. Even though some of them things that we did at home, uh, temporarily housing that was created, was first thought till March, right? Uh, it's already it's already uh, half a year since the war started. and. Uh, I believe that participation of the countries would be real, and I saw uh, Prime Minister Fiala visiting you when he was he was talking about the help of Ukraine. But I'm not uh, that informed about you know how it's structured. It's going to be like uh, the countries got uh, uh, regions depicted or assigned. I think you know you should help in the place when it's needed, right? And. Uh, even though we are talking about the, uh, the Donbas and, and the other republics, so the war is still alive in there. So it's hard to say, you know, when we can talk about about the, the future recovery and what's going to be, you know, the final results when the war is over. I believe Putin would, would finally withdraw from them, so it wouldn't change the shape of a Ukrainian territory, just like losing losing the republics. Let me ask you a sensitive question, the last one from my side. Are we speaking now about the temporarily adaptation or about their integration in the Czech society? The longer the, the crisis is, and you can see it from the data of the previous migration waves caused by, you know, the war. We had experience with the Serbian-Kosovo conflict. Uh, it was just like 18 million people who came in there. Uh, it was quite long conflict and a lot of people stay. So 
my intention is that people should get back to the place and they wanted to and I've got like direct experience even we are hosting Ukrainian families in facilities of my ministry in the very center of the Prague uh, and those people want to go home right the longer the conflict will be the uh, the less ra the smaller ratio of those people would come up uh, there are things that you just need to do right when the school starts and you cannot keep the Ukrainian kids on the online learning on the special classes forever because then it's kind of segregation right so if we are talking about you know uh, another half a year and European Union is talking about prolonging that refugee status for two years right now it's hard to say if those people we don't do it to attract them to stay in Czech Republic, right? We need to provide them sufficient, and of course, the work as well. We've got about 80,000 people out of them, 300,000, that find some kind of work, so they are not dependent on the state aid anymore, so they could even go like to the commercial, commercial apartments, and uh, we will see. So when the Ukrainians are covering with this place to return, I believe those people will return. But from the figures that you've got from the previous crisis, the longer the conflict stays, the, the smallest uh, amount of people would come back. When I talked to the uh, Ministry of Regional Development of Ukraine, he was very scared that people wouldn't come back. So he was asking for the instant help and also for the help in the place right now of them seven million, if you said, because those people got no place to go. And they don't want, and Ukraine for sure doesn't want them to leave the country uh, to abroad, right? So, so that's our goal. Thank you so much.